Hi guys, uh, this is Five Hacking Tips by Kurt um, and um, CisRisk. Uh, just chiming in a little bit today to um, go through. Today's uh, uh, stream was scheduled at 1, but I'm pre-recording it and maybe streaming it later or, I don't know, maybe just stream it right away. Whatever works easiest. Um, so this is one subject I wanted to touch on. It came up on LinkedIn a couple of times over the last six months. And it's it's come up just like came up on Twitter even before that. And it's, um, you know, it, it, it comes up because um, there's a topic around a, a cybersecurity career or something like that. And somebody says something about a certain role and I don't see it as a cybersecurity role. And I think it's, or, or it might, it might be something that just deserves a whole different discussion or it'll come up when, uh, the topic of certifications comes around, you know, which certification for which, what's my path. And this is just to clarify kind of what I mean when I say cybersecurity and what I think is GRC. So GRC as it is, is basically governance, risk, and compliance. And to tell you the truth, the first six, at least six years of my career were, were that. I was an IT auditor uh, and then also a security auditor, um, but mostly worked with like internal audit and, and doing those kind of business process reviews and that kind of thing on the risk and compliance. And then also looking at IT governance, governance side. And at one point, um, on a couple of occasions, been ran the role of information risk manager. And that's a role that I think that probably on that side of the house ties over better with what I think is cybersecurity or what would be a quote unquote cybersecurity role. Um, so that takes me like to the next slide. And this is a generalization. Each organization has their own setup. But this is generally the way that I would see how information security is laid out. It's basically, you know, on one side, you have what is the information risk management side. And on the other side, you have basically security operations. And there are other there are various other things on on both sides that are not included here. For example, on the left side, uh, uh, you know, I say tech compliance, but there's the whole sec DevOps side of things um that uh and, and and tracking those risks you know the development related risks i have under it governance i have development here but that doesn't talk about the governance around for example um whether you're going to use a, a waterfall sdlc or you're going to use an, an an agile um approach to development you know that there's various things that would be able to be added to this depending on the organization and on the right side of course like I don't have pen testing, I don't have red teaming, I don't have blue teaming, I don't have a lot of detail in there. But generally, this is the way that I see the two, what you would call a cybersecurity role, which is on the right here, maybe your left, and I don't know how that works. And then, and then on the other side, information risk management, which is not cybersecurity. In fact, it's totally different. And the certifications that would apply here would be like the CISA, uh, the CISM would be a good one, um, and um, and even like the CIA to under the internal audit certification to understand the general risk approach across the organization. And the one area where it does come together is at the information risk manager, where there is a an IT risk managed uh, emergency response, or uh, what we'd call like a. Uh, a threat response. That's where they do come together. Come together, like as the information risk manager, you do have exposure to the incidents, and sometimes on a deeper level, a particular global insurance company that I know of, um, they tie it together where all incidents go to information risk management on the on the left side here, and it comes together with the incident response people that are on the security ops side. Um, Okay, so that's that. So when I talk about cybersecurity roles, now you know. Um, so yeah, this this area that gets you know, forgot to added some animation there. Um, so that's where that is. Um, so that's 
that's kind of it. It's not a rant. It's just the clarification of like what I'm talking about cybersecurity, what I mean versus what I'm talking about when I'm talking about GRC or information risk management. Um, for a couple other tips. Um, okay, so uh, I, I often comment a lot on around malware dev and, and what I've discovered like over the last year. I mean, I've spent a lot of time over the last five years and even before that around creating um, malware, um, not necessarily malware, but you know, basically breaking things, reversing things, and then um, also bypass is, a, is another thing that I've looked at. But most recently, uh, I guess for the last two and a half, three years, really focused on software-based malware. And, and one thing, I, I've taken this uh, Sector 7 Institute, it's listed here, um, third bullet from the top. It, it, it's really good. Check it out. I mean, the, the courses, just the C templates alone are worth it. But that's what I wanted to go on on the first point is really know your Win32 API and and know the C calls on it and, and, and understand that really well, the very base documentation. Because when you get into DLL hooking and concepts like that, um, it, it really helps to understand um, what there is out there and and um and and that's that and and to get to know the tools so that was one thing i wanted to touch on today here let me get out of presentation my share my desktop um wrong desktop anyway well now i'll share it down here so there's a couple of tools that i really like for win32 hacking and creating malware on win32 there's pe bear uh, this speaks for itself. Google it. Um, there's the resource hacker that comes in handy when you're going to uh, embed stuff in, in, in picture parts and stuff like that. And then there's a good old X64 debug. And then, of course, there's there's X32 debug. Um, that That's sweet. And then this is my favorite. It's basically process hacker. So, you know, when you've created malware and you want to see that you've hooked onto something, um, you can see that. And of course, there's uh, the Helium uh, Hex Editor Hex uh, thing. Um, but, you know, I, I guess X64 Debug, X32 Debug is where I spend a lot of my time and the other side is in Process Hacker. If I just want to look at a, at a, what I, at my own piece of software um, and analyze it from a PE perspective, I use PE Bear, but that's more normally for looking at something else that I think might be malware. Um, we're analyzing something that's already there to see if you, you know, it would be, if there's room in the, either like in the resource area or in the text areas, it's a good place to look. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see, let me go back to. The other thing I wanted to cover is, uh, so a couple of months ago, and, and it kind of ties up to here, um, is uh, I installed a Commando VN, VM. It's available on the Mondiant um, GitHub. I was, uh, I had it right there. This is it. Um, basically, it's a great install. It's very easy. It's a it's a PowerShell script, um, and uh, yeah, you you basically download the um, ISO or the, the the virtual machine and then you run the PowerShell script and it sets it up and what it does is it basically sets up a Windows 10 um, setup that's completely decked out for for hacking um, it's a it, it's a it's a good tool to have in your uh, your VM library so that's a uh, we'll call that tip number four because uh, I think I, I provided a couple tips in there and then tip number five or six, whichever one is, is um, I came by this. Uh, this was this was a good find uh, earlier on um, on Facebook, actually. Um, but what it is, it's uh, it's an it's an Active Directory exploitation cheat sheet. I went through it. it looks pretty um, pretty recent. Um, also, um, it's actually good for uh, AD enumeration. So 
uh, I would actually retitle this if I were to rename it. I'd call it a enumeration exploitation cheat sheet. Um, these are always good things to have in your arsenal. A lot of people ask me how I come by these. A lot of times I come by these. I read a lot of them. Um, I bookmark a lot of them too. Um, but like for AD and Windows stuff, I'm very particular about what I keep in my um, cherry tree. So that's tip number six is I do log like any good commands or anything that I want to keep on hand or steps that I've taken to crack a box. I may take that and very methodically include it in cherry tree. I keep uh, a cherry tree outline of all of my information. That's enough for today. Um, if you have, like I say, anytime, if you have any questions, feel free to, to hook up with me on chat or whatever. But remember, GRC is not cybersecurity, is not GRC. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.